Hey, North Everett, are you curious to know how we ended last month? Stay tuned for this month's market update. Hey, it's Ashley Keller Williams Real Estate in Everett. If this is your first time to my channel, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I've got some great stuff, you know, for anybody, people in North Everett, people buying property anywhere, I've got some good stuff. All right, so we're gonna get right into this. So we're gonna uh, talk about the market. And uh, man, I think, you know, the seller's market just continues on, okay? And I think that, you know, many buyers are really feeling the strong buyer demand out there. I mean, it's just incredible. There's an incredible amount of uh, buyers that are out looking for properties. And there are sure, certainly just a shortage of properties available for them to buy. And I think what we're really experiencing right now is, you know, we're really seeing how important it is for people to own their own homes super important. Like it's so important that people are paying $200,000 over the asking on some properties in the area. Okay. So, you know, I mean, I think keep that in mind, especially if you're considering buying, keep that in mind if you're considering selling a property, right? Because, you know, maybe there's some challenges there for you to think about selling your property and then buying your next one. Um, if you need any tips or help or want a consultation on how to make that happen smoothly, please reach out to me. So look, let's just get right to the data. Here we go. Hey, <clears throat> all right, here we are. So, you know, I, when I go through the data, I like to look at uh, Everett first as a whole. Um, I mean, I think, believe it or not, new listings are up. Um, you know, I think a lot of people are like, hey, when are we going to get more listings? Well, in, at least in the city of Everett as a whole, it looks like we're up just a titch. I mean, you know, I know it's only like about 11 more, but it is more. Um, you can see that also the... Um, pending sales are up and if you look at the median prices man those are up like 14 and a half percent it's a big number so remember that you know kind of comparing february 2020 to 2021 is um in february 2020 we were just right before the, the shutdown happened okay before lockdown yeah. all right so here we are, we're looking at North Everett more closely. And, you know, we can really see that there were more new listings last year and more pending sales. Um, and this year we have more solds. I mean, I think that that kind of makes sense. I feel like last month was pretty busy. So, you know, a lot of those uh, houses from last month are closing, you know, we're closing in uh, February, you know, the ones from January. And then um, homes for sale, I mean, I think, whoo, I mean, I think we're really feeling how buyer demand is overshadowing the amount of available inventory. I mean, nearly half as many homes are available on the market. And, you know, days, I think this is a little bit of a surprising number. I'm a little bit surprised to see that days on market was high. Um, you know, perhaps there was like an, an outlier. There was like one house that took a long time. But I would say that the number that you should be looking at most to kind of get an idea of what the market's doing is the month supply, which is incredibly low i mean this this right here really tells us it kind of like really captures like the inventory and demand together and you can see that it's down half as much and it's like 0.4 of a month which is like less than half a month of available inventory and i mean that number is is probably a little bit inflated because honestly there are several houses that I think everybody knows if they didn't have a review date where they were waiting like a week they would have sold the very day they came on the market all right here we go median sales prices were up 22.8 percent from last year jumping from three hundred and forty thousand dollars to $420,000. And I mean, I think that this right here sure has been frustrating for some buyers, you know, some, some new buyers, um, first time home buyers and buyers that have been thinking for a long time that Everett is inexpensive, okay? That Everett is inexpensive. And so folks are kind of entering this market and they're realizing like, oh yeah, actually to get a house in Everett, I I'm gonna have to spend 400,000. So, you know, I think the folks that have been waiting uh, for that buyer's market, that magical time when prices drop, I mean, you're just gonna have to keep waiting. And you can see that even more clearly here. You can see that um, the median sales price trend line suggests an increase. I mean, it's been increasing 
this is this is two years of data here that we're looking at and it has been increasing the entire time i mean you know in 20 in in april of 2019 okay so that's like it's nearly two years from then you know it looked like we were like around 350 and now here we are we're at 420 and as a matter of fact you know this number here this this graph you can see that of the last 12 months nine of them have been above four hundred thousand dollars for the median price and i suspect this trend is just going to continue in the north end i don't see i don't see these prices going down at all um you know are we going to get to the point where we're just consistently over 450 probably i mean we had a couple of months last year where we were you know in the last year we had a couple of months where we were and you know, I think it's going to get to be to the point where, you know, that really, really bottom low end inventory that's like 300,000, you know, pretty much you're only going to be able to buy land for that. And if there's a house on it, it needs to basically be scraped. So not surprising that sellers are getting more than asking price for their homes. This month, they were able to get on average 3.7% more. Um, and about 75% of them sold above asking. The range was between 96.77% and 120%. So yes, there was a house in North Everett that sold for 20% above their asking price. And they ended up, they had 19 offers. So, I mean, the, the demand is there. If, if you have a really cool looking house, you're, you're probably going to get, you're going to continue to have the opportunity to get a, um, a record price. I mean, like these, these prices that we're seeing for homes in this area, you know, homes have never traded for this price here. Okay. So, you know, if you're considering selling, you know, this is the time to sell to get that record price. All right, I love this slide because I, you can kind of compare the previous year with the current year. And you can see that last February, the average amount over asking was just shy of 1%. It was 0.8% is what people received over their asking price, which was about $2,736. In today's market, where sellers are getting on average 3.7%, that equates to about $15,540 over asking price. Now, this is, man, this is like a really important point, right? Because, you know, I think, I think people some, sometimes seem to miss this piece, right? It's not just like, oh, prices are higher. Yeah, prices are higher, but people are also paying above those higher prices. So, you know, at this point, I mean, you know, you're really paying a lot of extra. And, you know, I think if demand stays where it is, I think if rates stay low, we might see the average amount of we're asking break 4% here in the North End, you know, in this busy, you know, going into the busy summer and spring months. All right, one of my favorite slides, I started tracking this a couple of months ago, so you guys can see. So the most commonly asked for home from me is a three bedroom, two bath house, and I am including uh, half bath. So you know, it's like one full or three quarter bath or like two, three quarter baths, something like that. Um, there were four options in the North End this past month. Um, the median sales price for those was $463,000. So, I mean, I think if you're thinking, hey, I want a, a three bed, two bath in Everett and I want to be in the North End, I mean, I guess I would, I would be prepared to pay around four seventy dollars for it. You know, you're going to be like 465, 470. I mean, that's just an average number. Um, and I, and the other thing that I will let you know is, is I would probably be prepared to pay like as much as 18% over asking because one of them did trade for that. So when you're sort of forming your budget here and you're thinking, okay, I want to buy a house in this area, um, you probably need to be, you know, thinking, oh, I mean, nearly 500. I mean, here's the thing that's so funny, like, now that now that we have this average number, this this four sixty three. Now that that's happened, I mean, you know, prices are predicted to continue to increase for the rest of the year. So, you know, maybe we'll be maybe we'll be a little bit above that. You know, I mean, it looks like the graph looks like it's kind of flattening out here when you see it. You know, the red squiggly line up there. I mean, it looks like the cost last month was about the same as it was this month. Right. But if you look back in the, into the past and you look at this August 2020, you can see a big spike. 
the average price. So there were more of them on the market available. There were like nine of them. And those nine three bed, two bath homes sold. I mean, they were over 500,000. They were nearly $600,000. So, you know, be prepared for those kinds of numbers. Be prepared folks for those kinds of numbers. All right, so there you go. That was this month's data. Um, what I can tell you is that uh, there really isn't like a sign of this train slowing down. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of talk in the agent community, especially, especially with maybe buyers and, you know, that maybe if interest rates go up a little bit, um, it's going to slow things down. And I have certainly seen that happen in the past. Um, but when it has happened, rates had to go up quite a bit. And here's the thing. Here's the straight up fact. Rates are probably going to increase this year. Okay. You know, many people are saying that there's a lot of talk everywhere. I mean, talk to, talk to a mortgage broker, you know, they'll probably tell you, Hey, tell, ask them, Hey, what do you think rates are going to do this year? Most people believe that as long as the economy continues to recover, which it seems like that's the road we're going down, that, um, those rates are going to slowly creep up. Okay. Um, if they slowly creep up, you know, here's, here's the hope. The hope is, is that some people will no longer qualify for houses in certain price ranges because it's going to make their payment too high. All right. Like, remember that mortgage brokers qualify you for a payment and translate it into a purchase price. So if rates go up, it can change what it is that you can buy. So it really alters the affordability number for you. Okay. And it really can decrease your buying power. So, I mean, even if you're in a good position now, if rates go up, it could bring you down a little bit. It could bring you down just a little bit. So I think that's the hope. And I think for many buyers, you know, they're just trying to buy something before that happens. Um, and I think sellers kind of face a similar challenge. I, I think that this market is, uh, you know, exhausting not only for buyers, but also for sellers. I mean, I don't, you know, it's really difficult to like review like 20 offers or 35 offers. You know, it's not easy. And so, um, yeah, I mean, you know, maybe people are going to be looking for some relief. I mean, you know, I think... You know, obviously, here's the deal. The, the person that stays in longest is going to gain the most, okay? So, you know, if you are right now looking buying a home, you're actively buying, stay in, okay? If you're thinking about selling and moving on to something else, hey, stay in the game. Stay in the game, okay? That is that is the, the best thing that you can do. So, that is this month's update. I will see you again next month. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again soon. YouTube.